Newton's grasp of gravity was sufficient to enable us to travel from the Earth to the Moon. Ever find yourself disoriented in the relentless march of time, questioning if our comprehension of it is merely the surface of a deeper mystery? His. Discovery is not just a hypothesis. It is a key that has the potential to reveal a universe more complex and awe-inspiring than we could have ever imagined. How does Brian Cox's novel theory challenge our conventional understanding of time? And what could it mean for how we perceive our 032 reality? Explore Brian Cox's groundbreaking hypothesis on the nature of time in the vast cosmos surrounding us on a fascinating journey through the fabric of time. Riddles are waiting to be solved, many of which revolve around strange aspects of time and gravity, both integral components of our existence. Picture a world where time behaves oddly. It can either slow down or accelerate. Moreover, the force that keeps us grounded may not be what we think. This is the realm of Albert Einstein's 0104 theories of relativity that alter the way we perceive time and gravity. Through his theories of relativity, Albert Einstein, whose name is well known to everyone, provided us with a brand new perspective on the universe. His work formed the foundation for understanding how time behaves under various circumstances, especially when moving at incredibly high speeds. In the early 20th century, Einstein introduced two groundbreaking concepts, the special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. Do 135, the special theory of relativity, published in 1905, transformed our conception of time and space. Simply put, it asserts that the laws of physics remain consistent for all observers who are not accelerating, regardless of their motion. The well-known idea that time can expand or contract under certain conditions is one example of a relativistic effect introduced in this theory. One captivating thought experiment often used to explain time dilation is the light clock. Imagine being inside a spacecraft moving at 0 darzo 2.08a, very quick speed, close to the speed of light. A light beam is bouncing between two mirrors inside the spacecraft that are perpendicular to the direction of travel. The speed of light remains constant for all observers, according to physics, so the light beam must appear to follow a longer, diagonal path for the external observer. The time it takes for the light beam to traverse this path should be identical for both the observer inside the spacecraft and the one outside. However, since the path e 237 appears longer, it takes the light more time to complete its journey for the outside observer. This perceived time difference between the two observers is what Einstein referred to as time dilation. Time moves more slowly for the moving observer than for the still observer. In this case, time behaves differently depending on your velocity. Understanding how objects change when they move quickly, also known as relativistic effects, is not merely a theoretical idea. Scientists use large machines like particle 00.03.08 accelerators, such as the Large Hadron Collider, to propel particles to near-light speeds. To make accurate predictions and measurements, we need to take time into special consideration when moving such fast objects. Albert Einstein introduced the special theory of relativity in 1905, and it revolutionized our understanding of the universe, particularly concerning time and motion. This theory challenges our instinctual beliefs. It states that the principles of physics are the same for everyone, even if they are not at rest. 340. This differs from our everyday experience, where we might assume that if something is already in motion and we add more speed, it simply gets faster. However, Einstein's theory says there's a maximum velocity that nothing can exceed, the speed of light. In this context, events that appear to be occurring simultaneously to us may not appear the same to someone traveling at the speed of light. Another concept that arises from this special way of thinking is length contraction. This means that an object appears shorter in the direction it is, wa zero, zero four, 12 traveling when viewed from a stationary position. Additionally, there's the famous equation E, mau mc2, which shows that energy and mass are interchangeable. This is crucial, 
for understanding how tiny particles behave when moving at high speeds, and also for explaining processes like nuclear fission. In the real world, special relativity isn't just an abstract idea. It's something we rely on in everyday technology, such as GPS. When GPS satellites send signals to your device, they are in motion. And do or robots or 4 or 42 to this movement, time behaves slightly differently for them. If we didn't account for time dilation in our GPS calculations, your location data would be significantly inaccurate. Thus, special relativity teaches us that time is not uniform across all places and circumstances. It depends on how things are moving. This notion challenges our typical understanding of time and space. It's as if our conventional view of the universe is a bit flawed. According to the special theory of relativity, time, or 0, or 5, 13 is not constant. It is influenced by motion. Some fundamental ideas, such as the constancy of the speed of light and the relationship between energy and mass, have been confirmed by numerous experiments. However, there's more. Enter Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity from 1915. This theory delves deeper into the connection between gravity and the structure of the universe. It reshapes the traditional notion of gravity as merely a force that attracts objects. Instead, it proposes that gravity arises because space and Eros Rodoro 5 48 time are warped or curved. It's like saying gravity isn't an invisible force. It's just how things naturally move in the universe. According to Brian's interpretation, general relativity requires thinking about the universe as a four-dimensional entity combining three spatial dimensions and one temporal dimension. Within this model, large objects like stars, planets, and even us influence the curvature of space and time around them. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. Think of space-time as a huge, pliable sheet. When EO0.0621, something massive like Earth is placed on it, it causes a depression in the sheet. If you place something smaller, like a ball near Earth, it will roll toward this depression. This is similar to how objects behave due to gravity, not because of some invisible force, but because of the bending of space-time. General relativity offers a robust explanation for the movement of objects in our solar system, such as the orbits of planets around the sun. It can precisely predict the paths these planets follow, including how Earth EZOA6-52 traces an elliptical orbit around the sun. According to Brian, this contrasts with the old idea of gravity simply pulling objects together, which struggled to explain how planets behave. The new theory is that space and time are curved, much like a flexible fabric, which better aligns with what we observe. In 1919, a solar eclipse coincided with a historic event that demonstrated the accuracy of general relativity. Sir Arthur Eddington led a team to observe how light from distant stars bent as it passed close to the Photo Zozo 7 23 sun. According to the Theory, the sun's mass would cause the starlight to curve slightly. During the eclipse, the observations confirmed Einstein's predictions, proving the theory's validity. Just as motion can alter our perception of time, according to special relativity, gravity also affects time. In regions where gravity is especially intense, time flows more slowly compared to areas with weaker gravity. So, if you were standing near a massive object, like a black hole, your clock would tick Doro 7, 54 more slowly than one placed farther away from this enormous mass. The concept of black holes, places where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light can escape, is introduced by general relativity. The boundary surrounding a black hole is called the event horizon, and it marks a point of no return. Once an object crosses this boundary, it is drawn into the black hole without any possibility of escape. Einstein's theory of general relativity has profound implications for the structure of the universe. Initially, he added a term Rho826 called the cosmological constant to his equations because he believed the universe was static. However, 
Upon discovering that the universe is expanding, he referred to this as a great mistake. The idea of an expanding universe based on general relativity is central to the Big Bang theory, which describes the origin of the universe. Another key concept of general relativity is gravitational waves. These are ripples in the fabric of space and time, caused by extremely massive objects moving rapidly, such as when black holes Ezero 0858 or neutron stars merge. In 2015, scientists at the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, directly detected gravitational Waves providing further proof for Einstein's theory. Over time, scientists have conducted numerous tests to validate general relativity, and each time, the theory has proven to be accurate. Whether by observing planetary motion, the bending of light, or the detection of gravitational waves, general relativity remains a robust and reliable framework. While claiming that gravity 00931i is a myth may sound startling, especially since we experience it every day. In the field of physics, it's normal to challenge and reconsider established theories. Scientists like Brian regularly question conventional wisdom. In the domain of gravity, some propose alternative views. One theory that questions traditional gravity is modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, which suggests that gravity behaves differently at low velocities particularly in uh, galaxies, without needing to invoke dark matter. Instead of O0, 10, those O2 positing invisible matter, Mond suggests that gravity strengthens at slow speeds. The debate on gravity also involves the enigmatic concepts of dark matter and dark energy, which were introduced to explain certain cosmic phenomena. Critics argue that these ideas may be unnecessary and that alternative explanations can account for what we observe. Theories involving unknown particles or forces, for example, are explored by scientists who disagree with Einstein's theory of gravity. These theories could alter or improve our understanding of 0 10 34 gravity. It's important to recognize that, in science, new ideas are not dismissed out of hand. Rather, they undergo rigorous testing to determine whether they hold up. For instance, Einstein's concept of time is part of a four-dimensional continuum where time travel may be limited by the speed of light. This has been creatively explored alongside concepts like wormholes and shortcuts. Stephen Hawking's chronology protection conjecture suggests that time travel into the past is unlikely from a physics standpoint. Ongoing experiments, Jaisu Waro. Levin. 05, and observations aim to determine whether these new theories can explain phenomena like gravity in a way that aligns with our current understanding. Although numerous concepts have been considered, none have successfully replaced gravity's well-established principles. Questioning and rethinking established theories is an essential part of scientific progress, fostering further research and a deeper understanding of the universe. In the field of gravity theories, general relativity remains the most significant and successful one. 11. Despite competing ideas and challenges, it consistently performs well in experiments and explains. Various phenomena such as planetary motion and the bending of light around massive objects. General relativity endures because it is simple and accommodates a wide array of phenomena. As previously discussed, Einstein's special theory of relativity suggests that time can behave differently depending on your speed. Now, let's explore how this idea affects real-life scenarios, particularly in space exploration. Space exploration is era 0.12. 8. Thrilling but difficult because space is vast. And according to Einstein's theory, the speed of light is the fastest possible speed. This makes traveling between stars a major challenge, even with advanced technology, due to the long travel times required to reach even the closest stars. To understand what happens to time when traveling in space, consider the famous twin paradox. Picture this. 
One twin remains on Earth while the other embarks on a fast journey to a distant star. When the space-traveling twin returns, they find Or Zero, 12.42, that less time has passed for them than for the twin on Earth. In essence, they have traveled into the future. Time is critical for space travelers because the longer the trip, the more time slows down. If astronauts were to visit nearby stars where time slows down considerably, they would age more slowly than people on Earth. While this may seem like science fiction, it's a real effect predicted by relativity. This effect, known as time dilation, is not just theoretical. It has been confirmed through precise experiments involving fast-moving particles and high-speed aircraft. For astronauts traveling at relativistic speeds, the implications are profound. A journey that seems short for them could equate to decades or even centuries on Earth. This creates a future where, theoretically, humans could reach distant stars. Only, to return to a world that has drastically changed or even forgotten them. 1346 Brian Cox, building on Einstein's ideas, pushes us to think even further. He suggests that time might not be a fundamental aspect of the universe at all, but an emergent phenomenon, something that arises only under specific conditions. If this radical idea holds, then time as we know it could be a byproduct of entropy, the universe's gradual drift toward disorder. In this view, time's arrow, the direction we perceive time flowing, is not built into the universe, but rather the result of statistical likelihoods. 14. 17. This would mean that in the early universe, just after the Big Bang, time itself may not have flowed at all as we understand it. There was no before, only a quantum haze, a timeless state in which all possibilities existed simultaneously. As the universe expanded and cooled, order began to form, and with it, time. 1444 Cox's perspective invites us to ask, if time can emerge, could it also disappear? Could there be regions of the cosmos where time breaks down entirely, near the singularity of a black hole, or in the early moments of cosmic inflation? If so, how would consciousness or matter behave in a place where time has no direction, or perhaps no meaning? Euro 1514, such questions are not just philosophical. They guide physicists in their search for a unified theory that reconciles general relativity, which governs the large-scale structure of the universe, with quantum mechanics, which rules the microscopic realm. A true theory of everything must account for gravity, time, space, and matter in one elegant framework. 15. Some researchers believe that string theory or loop quantum gravity might hold the key. These frameworks hint at a universe where space and time are quantized, built from indivisible units, like pixels in a digital image. In such a universe, the smooth flow of time is an illusion, a construct created by our limited perception. 16. Meanwhile, technologies on Earth continue to evolve. Quantum clocks, capable of measuring time to the precision of a billionth of a billionth of a second, are starting to detect tiny variations in the passage of time based on altitude and gravity. These are not just curiosities. They offer new ways to map Earth's gravitational field, improve satellite systems, and perhaps one day, test the limits of relativity itself. 16 Hopper 42As we venture further into space and probe deeper into the fabric. Of reality, our understanding of time will undoubtedly evolve. From Newton's clockwork universe to Einstein's curved space-time, and now to Cox's provocative theories, one thing remains certain. Time is not what it seems.